One of Runway's magic tools is text to color grade, where you can input details of a look to generate certain color treatments. You might be wondering what kinds of prompting might be needed to get the best result. And I was able to find certain prompting techniques and clip scenarios that got me better results. So I'm gonna share some of these tips that I found very useful. The main thing to keep in mind is that you can never go wrong with natural language. If you're able to understand which adjectives, which descriptors, the names of certain styles, it's a pretty good chance you'll be happy with the result. But what if I kept it short? What if I wanted to use references and not necessarily descriptions? I spent time mostly playing around with famous film titles so I can get some pretty iconic looks. Just typing in a movie title alone can get you a pretty decent result. However, there are certain scenarios where inputting the movie title alone might actually be counterproductive in which case you might need a small description to clarify what you're trying to emulate. The thing to keep in mind is the model finds a specific word in the prompt and places a lot of weight on that, especially with movie titles, it can sometimes turn into something very literal rather than the style of the movie visual. So in this case, I entered Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and I was expecting a cool white tone that looks a little bit like this, but instead I got this very warm hue and that's because it's catching on to the word sunshine, quite literally emulating the colors in sunshine. So to clarify the prompt, I'll add cool or cold or blue or both. And with those added words, you can see the result is much closer to the style of the film. Same thing here. I wanted to emulate the look of Titanic, which is bold and saturated and warm. So I tried Titanic, saturated, and warm and it gave me a pretty nice result that seemed in line with what i was going for so you can input things like movie titles but what about other kinds of references or descriptions like what about directors or general colors or what about things like film stock i applied the same prompting idea with different kinds of film so here i tried kodak ector 100 and just looking at examples i noticed that the colors are very vivid there's a lot of bright light so I might add those descriptions to help clarify what I'm looking for. So adding vivid and bright, in addition to the name of the film stock, immediately the results become more specific and more accurate. If you're still not happy with the results, I recommend trying some different seed numbers. Because there's a fair amount of randomness, the results can vary a bit, so it's helpful to try a few different options. Eventually, you'll become very good at understanding the intuition of it. These are my general tips to keep in mind when using text a lot. I would encourage you to try it out and play around with it and share any results you come across. We'd love to see what you come up with.